welcome, welcome to the, the first, first episode, episode of 2016. 2016. I'm Addison Atkins. And I'm Garth Richards. One of the most anticipated events of the year is MATE, also known as the Montford Academy Invitational Tournament. Throughout the week, students participate in a spirit week to celebrate and get ready for this exciting event. Here at MVA, we are known for our successful basketball team. Every year since 2003, it has become a tradition to attend MATE. The experience is almost as good as an NBA game. There are also VIP areas and a concession stand to fuel your energy after all that cheering. Let's catch up with Coach Boyle to see what their plans are for this year's tournament. Roll the clip. Every year, I know the, the players are really excited about it. I think the whole school gets uh, really amped up for it, and it, the whole place is rocking, and the, even the community is here. So it's just a great event, um, and not just basketball, everybody coming together, supporting each other. Uh, what do you expect from your players this year? Well, I, I expect our guys to you know, compete uh, as hard as they can, like they do all the time. Um, you know, there's some outstanding teams. There's, you know, several very good Florida teams with the First Academy and Sagemont and Providence, to name a few. And then you have, you know, traditional powers uh, like Mustang, Oklahoma, who was number two preseason, and uh, the, the Utah schools in the top 25. So we have a lot of good teams in the event. And, you know, I would expect that uh, we put ourselves in a chance to, 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 to win. But obviously, uh, we have to play really well to do that. This year's made it's rolling along well. Uh, everybody is really taken into uh, the position of helping out and assisting and making sure things are lined up. The teams have all confirmed, obviously, and we have a number of members of our staff who have already uh, taken care of their respective duties. We the volunteers, the students stepping up and volunteering for different areas with regard to videotaping, with regard to being ambassadors for the teams that we're hosting. So we're really looking forward to it. Hope to see you all there as we try to get another taste of a championship in 2016. Speaking of starting off the new year, Strong, what's your New Year's resolution? Um, I think I need to start over. January is kind of my trial month. But we sent Connor on the crawl out to see what the students of Mount Verde's resolutions were. Let's take a look. I'm Connor on the crawl, and I get down to get the real story. We're out here finding people's New Year's resolutions. Let's go. Hello, I'm Connor on the Crawl with Melissa on the Move. What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, to be healthier. Thank you. What's your New Year's resolution? To have a good year. Well, I hope you have a good year. Thank you. What are your goals for 2016? Be healthier. Good. That's a good one. What about you? Uh, get good grades. Well, I hope you do. Good luck to you guys. What are your goals for 2016? To not get any more hours. What are your plans for 2016? Um... Graduate from Mount Ward. That's a good one. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, get in college. What are your New Year's resolutions? No resolutions needed. I'm already perfect. What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year resolution is to get better at physics and make more friends in Mount Verde Academy. I'm here with Mr. Clapper. Mr. Clapper, what's your New Year's resolution? Well, my New Year's resolution this year is to make uh, the 2016 Night for a Cure the best year ever. I'm here with NBA Today, finding out what new people's New Year's resolutions are. What are your New Year's resolutions and goals? Um, my New Year's resolution was to, get, to go to college here in America. My New Year's resolution is to get good grades. Well, good luck to you both. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. What is your New Year's resolution? To never, ever, ever be on camera again. I just broke it. Thanks, Connor. I'm going to have to try some of those resolutions myself. It's important to stay focused over the course of the year to keep those resolutions in check. You should always be aware of, of deadlines for assignments and to work hard all year. That's right. Not only should you try to work hard to better yourself at school, but outside too. We decided to help you guys on some New Year's advice. Let's keep up with Kelsey to hear some tips. Hey MVA and welcome to Keeping Up with Kelsey. So, it's 2016 and with a new year comes the usual, new year, new me. But I'm on to you. It might be a new year, but it's definitely the same you. And honestly, I'm disappointed. I know you made some big promises to yourselves on January 1st, and I know that these goals have faded faster than mine of getting into Harvard. Have no fear though, I'm here to help you get back on track to achieving your New Year's resolutions. So let me guess, you finally got yourself that gym membership and swore to eat only kale for the new year. But here you are, two hot yoga classes later, and you're crying in the McDonald's parking lot. We've all been there, but just remember, Healthy living is about moderation. Do a couple sit-ups before you get that McFlurry, and look, you're living a balanced lifestyle. 
On top of getting fit, you probably swore not to spend another penny in 2016, right? Wrong. Saving your money is overrated. Head over to the mall right now and treat yourself. You need that fourth Michael Kors watch. After all, you're worth it. Finally, I'm sure there's those of you whose plan for 2016 was to be super organized. Here's what I say to that. Forget it. Look at me, I wrote the script for this segment in about five minutes this morning, and I'm still living. That's all the advice I have for today. Back to you. Thanks, Kels. We appreciate your perspective on things. Moving on, we head to Catherine and Benji with sports. Thanks, Garth. We're your host. I'm Catherine Givazani. And I'm Benji Michelle. To recap the past week's event, our fifth annual mass tournament was a success, with our boys winning 5-0 in the championship game. Among our top players were Leonardo Nevaez, Esteban Calvo, and Chase Vosvich, each winning their own prestigious award for their outstanding performance in the tournament. Your 2016 Montford Academy Soccer Tournament Champions, the NBA Montford Academy Eagles! Also, over the break, our girls soccer team traveled to Fort Worth, Texas, and won two out of their three games. Congratulations, girls. Last week, our girls varsity basketball game team traveled to The Rock, Lakeland, and Miami to play four tough games. Also, the seniors will be recognized at Maine. Great job, Eagles. In other news, track and field season is underway. Their way to first meet coming up on February 20th. If you want to join, contact Mr. Tor for more information. Coming up in sports this weekend is our 13th annual mate competition. Leading our team this year are varsity captains Howard Washington and Kevin Cham. We went to these players to find more about the year's past mate. You're a fourth year student and this is going to be your last mate. How do you feel about it? I mean, I feel good. You know, the past three years uh, I've done the mate. It was really a great experience with all the student body. Um, that really helped us, encouraged us, and it's just a great feeling. Howard, you're a second year student and you're a senior. How do you think the team is doing this season and do you think uh, you, do you think the team's going to do good during the rest of the season? Uh, yeah, we're doing well right now. We, uh, I mean, we always play well at home. We haven't lost a home game in a long time. So hopefully we come out, have fun, and put on the show for you guys. How are you guys preparing for the mate and for the rest of your games? I mean, we're just practicing every day. Sometimes twice a day we get early in the morning. And we just work hard, work on uh, the sets of the other team, so we make sure we're ready to play them, which uh, make it easier to beat them. Looks like the guys have been working harder than ever in preparation for the mate tournament. Good luck, guys. Well, that wraps it up for sports. Back to you, Garth. Thanks, guys. With the new year comes a lot of new changes to campus. We decided to go to Mr. Matos to see what's new. Uh, Jess, uh... We have a few new rules uh, coming in this year, like uh, new hour rules, new hour rules, punishments. Uh, everybody last semester got hours for Chavin. Uh, this semester, completely different. You will get hours if you do Chave. So remember, do not Chave this semester. If you Chave, you will get punished, okay? It's not a good decision, okay? We do not want that to happen. We don't want to get your hours, okay? Uh, new things, we have a new dress code. Uh, new dress code is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be, uh, uh, capris, you have to wear capris, uh, turtleneck shirt, MVA, turtleneck, um, and including that, you have to wear Crocs, you know, Crocs, the crocodile shoes, well, we think those really embody the, uh, the Montford, uh, style, so Crocs will be definitely on our list of agendas, okay? And uh, boy-girl violations, I see this all the time on the punishment board. Uh, boy-girl violations, uh, it pretty much comes anything uh, when you come too close to a person of the opposite sex. So if you happen to hold hands, that's definitely ours. But if you happen to touch like elbows, you'll be okay with that. So only elbow touches, okay? Uh, and that's most of the things we have for this year. Just uh, Wait. You're not the real Mr. Matos. Uh... Well, that was something. Here are this week's desk mentions. There is a 13th annual mate on Thursday through Saturday, located in the nest. Make sure you show your spirit and have fun. There will also be a TOEFL test date this Saturday, January 30th, starting at 8.30 a.m. Finally, there is an upper and middle school open house Saturday, as well from 9 to 11 a.m. 
On February 3rd, seniors will be taking their cap and gown photos in the Nest classroom starting at 7.30 a.m. And seniors, remember next Tuesday is Senior Jeans Day and Ice Cream Day. Well, that's it for this week's episode for MVA Today. From all the students in the TV Studio Broadcasting course in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm Addison Atkins. And I'm Garth Richards. See, See you later, later Eagles. Eagles.